What's up guys? Welcome to Dan's how-to videos. Today we are continuing the how-to series on the iPhone as well as the how-to series on the Apple TV. This is like a two-in-one video because I'm going to show you guys today how to use your iPhone as a remote for your Apple TV. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is take your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch and download an app called Remote. Now, this is gonna work if you're running an iOS device, at least iOS 6 or above. It may work if you're running below iOS 6, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna say iOS 6 and above. Now, what you need to do is go into the App Store and you'll find an app called Apple Remote. You need to type that in, it'll pop up with Remote here. Just remember this logo and what it shows and then go ahead and download it. Open it up when you're done and you'll be brought to this page. What you need to do next is turn on home sharing. Now when you tap that, it's gonna ask for your Apple ID as well as your password. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and enter that. Once you've entered your Apple ID and password, go ahead and click done at the top. It'll verify it. And now you're ready to go with home sharing. It'll give you a quick instruction here. Turn on home sharing to use this with your iTunes. You can also use this to work with your Apple TV. Go ahead and hit done. Now for this section, you're gonna need your original Apple TV remote, so make sure you have that. You're gonna to wanna to turn on your Apple TV. Once it's on, you wanna to go to the settings application, open that up. Next thing you wanna do is go to general, then scroll down to where it says remotes, and here you'll have three options, pair Apple remote, remote app, and learn remote. Now we downloaded the remote app, so we're gonna use that one here. It's gonna say turn on home sharing, so we'll go and do that. So here you wanna set up with your Apple ID, so you're gonna need to put in the same ID you did with your iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch, and then we'll move on, it'll ask you for your password. So enter both of those in. When you've entered in your Apple ID, hit submit. Now you need to put in your password. Now in this section, it's just asking if you want to remember your Apple ID to use it for items in the iTunes store and purchase things. It'll remember your password as well. So this is a personal choice. I'm just going to hit yes. Next here, we're going to hit OK. And now we can go ahead and move back to our iPhone. Next, moving back to the iPhone again, or your iPad or iPod Touch, you're going to see this Apple TV logo inside your remote app. You're going to tap on that and it'll connect to your Apple TV. And now it's gonna say tap to select, drag to navigate, etc. So let's go ahead and as you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the TV, but it is moving as I swipe up and down, like so. Let me just give you a better angle here. I'll move this to the side, and give you guys a closer view. So now my iPhone's gonna be blurred, but anyway, as I move along my iPhone, you can see that I'm able to go across the Apple TV. I can also tap menu on the bottom of the iPhone and it'll take me through. And now I can just use my touch feature on my iPhone and go through my Apple TV. So that's pretty much it guys. That's how you use your iPhone as a remote for your Apple TV. If you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, or if you're gonna do this, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe up top, hit that like button. It helps me out and helps support my channel and I really appreciate it. Anyway guys, I will see you in the next one.